happy Monday. I'm back. I haven't left. I mean, I was prepared when my visitor was here, and I, I put up the videos, and I made mass videos so that I'd be on track. But for me, it's Sunday. For you, if you're in real time, it's Monday. Welcome to my channel, The Wild West. I am Tracy. And <clears throat> if you're new here and you don't know what's going on, I had a visitor. I had a visitor since Thursday. And so I had to do videos and, you know, pop them out, not, you know, like beforehand. And now it is Sunday for me. I'm living in the past still. You're in the future and the Monday. And if you're watching this in real time, I have to keep saying that because, you know, not everyone watches this on the day it comes out. <sighs> okay. I gave a little bit of a preview that way about some of the things we did with my visitor while they were here. But, um, oh, yeah, and if you're new here, the visitor, natural father, natural faja, if you want to say that, he was visiting. And I'd like to talk more about it maybe tomorrow on Tuesday because I'm really wore out. So I, after he left, I decided... I, I was going to pull out a bush, trim a tree, rearrange some things in the garden. If a rainbow comes on my face, by the way, the rainbows are really popping right now in here inside Ivy Moon. Like, they're gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of yard work. And then the room that he stayed in, which was our living room, he, like, he, he preferred the sofa because uh, he likes to watch TV and fall asleep. So after he left, I vacuumed the sofa, vacuumed the rugs, saged the room, opened the windows, you know, get a little air, fresh air in there. And um, I kind of wore out because I think I just kind of took my time decompressing, if you will, by cleaning and it just made me feel better. So that's what I did. And, and then after I cleaned, I was all sweaty and bleh, so I then took a shower. That is why my hair is wet and air drying. Uh, I did put on a little makeup, just a little bit. Uh, just to feel fresh, you know, and I want to show you this cup I got while he was here It says never 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 give up Winston Churchill now the embarrassing part is I don't really know what Winston Churchill did uh, I was not big on history in school. I didn't really can't I don't think I retained much of the history that we were being taught so now my goal is to look this Winston Churchill up and figure out what it what he's about I do like the message though never 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 not just one two three nevers give up that sounds pretty uh, my kind of cup had to have it have a ton of coffee cups already as it is but had to have another one from the Queen Mary that was something we did we did that last night I'll be able to share about it we went on a haunted tour supposedly it's one of the ten top haunted things in you know the US so we did that and I had to have this cup and uh, I just like the message I like the message as you know if you watch all my videos till the end you have to watch till the end I know that's a challenge for a lot of people because I know my stats and they're usually like uh, three four minutes so if you don't get to the end you don't know that I'm about peace love and keep going. I say it at the end of every one of my videos, mostly. And I really, it's mostly for me to tell myself, keep going, don't give up. If you give up, you'll never get to where you wanna go. So that's just a certainty. But if you keep going, you will get there. So I like that message. I wear a bracelet and it says, keep swimming. I never take it off. I definitely need a lot of positive reinforcement around me to say to myself, keep going. Remember that claymation Santa Claus uh, video from the 70s if you're a Gen Xer? I need to say, put one foot in, okay, I don't know the tune, but put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking out the door. I sing that song a lot in my head when I'm trying to get things done. You know, sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of times I feel very overwhelmed in what I'm doing. So I will just sing that little song from the 70s. And then I just know that if I do one thing and then the next thing and then the next thing, 
it'll get done. And then I get excited because I'm just doing the next and the next and the next and things start getting done. It really works. It's really, it's true. It's a true thing. I'm exhausted from the visitor. I need to come off, off the visit. Uh, not that he was demanding, very actually not demanding, which was nice. Like for instance, one night we literally had bread and butter for dinner. How, how much simpler can that be? I mean, and he brought the bread. It, he brought the bread and I had the butter and I warmed up the bread and we had bread and butter. I mean, he's a cowboy. That's all I got to say. True to the core, a cowboy. He is so easy, so simple when it comes to that kind of thing. And uh, he could sleep anywhere. Uh, he's pretty rough and gruff. Uh, does, never says I love you. Not in the vocab. And definitely doesn't know how to hug. Had I been in his life the whole time, maybe I would have been a little more rough and gruff. Or maybe my spirit could have made him a little more gentler. We'll never know because we cannot go back in the past. And the one thing he did say is he was sorry that he wasn't a part of my life. And maybe that's why he had to come. And I want to show grace and I want to be kind. And so I forgave him. So if you want to know more about our visit, I hope to share it on Tuesday. You know, kind of what we did. I tried to keep our, ourselves busy because I, I really don't know him. So I didn't want to be sitting with him day in and day out. And knowing that what I know now about how he watches movies a lot, I definitely didn't want to sit and watch movies a lot. So the activities that I planned made it nice to where we could actually talk a little bit. Time spent was nice. It was nice. It was nice humanity. It was nice being with another person. Um, but now I need to come down off of it because I'm really, really tired. And I cannot wait for this evening to have a little glass of wine, put my feet up and just, you know, get ready for the next day which uh, for you will be Tuesday, but for me it'll be Monday. And for me it's Sunday. It's so confusing the way I do this. Like, I'm not one to film the day of and put it up the day of. No way, can't do that. I just, I just can't do that. But anyway, until next time, if you're sticking with me, you know the message. Peace, love, and keep going.